It's Madden NFL 23, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. This time of year in Philly, you know what to expect. Cold temps, and we've got them, but the skies are clear tonight at Lincoln Financial Field. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store between the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. They'll be brought out by a player who was undrafted back in 2015 out of Old Dominion. Last season, his first as a starter, it's Taylor Heineke. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And that's how you start a drive, because you know they had this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity, unleashed it big time, and that was also a big time throw. And that one, and even 60 yards in the air, wow. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Now a 1,000-yard rusher a season to go. Antonio Gibson with it. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 25 on second down, Heineke. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Heineke now. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here, just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. 
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, it's Heineke. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Here's Heineke. This is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel from six yards away. And the Commanders put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, Let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Holding offense. What's the deal, y'all? They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and 10, it's Sanders. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. 
The last run got six, now second and four. Another run here with Sanders. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Throwing his hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Hurts. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Nothing on the screen that time, now it's third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Hurts sets up to throw it. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. 
Looking to throw. Over the middle to Smith. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond as you just noted. And he will slide to a halt with a penalty marker down on the play. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They go play action with Hertz. Forced out to his left. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. And there, once he's outside of the pocket and doesn't see anything, very smart play to just throw it away. That was only first down. He's got a few more shots, maybe. He can take it to the end zone. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Sanders not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I thought they were on to something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? This offense so far on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. He'll look to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Looking to throw, Heineke. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Now Heineke. 
This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. He's got Smith here. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Back to throw again. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Working with a second and four. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Another run with Sanders. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the draw, it's Gibson. And not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Heineke to throw it. Flushed out right. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Heineke from the gun on third down. And Thomas has it. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A throw to the flat here for McKissick. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Heineke is going to go for a big play downfield. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. To the air again, Heineke. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Oh, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football.
And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try. Hurts fumbles it. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was. And Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within the shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Man open left side is Brown. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. And the Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Second down, back to Sanders. Looking to find a lane, but he can't reined in at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl, and the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. I don't think there's any other way to put it, but that was just simply deflating because you know they came out ready to go at halftime, right? Everyone motivating each other, wanting to get out there and get going, and that turnover absolutely saps your momentum. Now you're just shouting encouragement to your defense, hoping they can pick you up and give you another chance. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And their defense just helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. And that's a gain of six on the first down run. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. From the 38, Heineke. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Straight ahead, Gibson. A gain of three, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throw 
throwing. Heineke. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Hurts. Sanders has it over the middle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. On second and ten, Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. But first down, Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. He'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line. And it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night to try again after the sack. Hurts, his throw incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Throwing is Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 38-yard line. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow them to convert a third and 18. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit and he gets a small gain on the play. 
It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. They run with Sanders off the option. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 10 yards there and an eagle first down. First downs have not come easy and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack, and they fail on the try for two. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Washington offense set to take over. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize on it and take it away from them. 
third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Heineke now. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well. And they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill him for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw right side complete to Dotson. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. It's the commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Looking to throw, Heineke. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs gonna throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're gonna have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw, luckily fell incomplete. Pressure gets there on Heineke, and down he goes. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. If we go back to the last series, remember, their coverage allowed them to get a turnover in the last drive, a takeaway, and that helped contribute to a sack on this one. I think maybe his quarterback's a little bit hesitant. Last time he turned it over, now he sees his zone coverage. A little bit slow to get rid of the football. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this will be caught by Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. 
and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Hurts throw there taken in by Smith. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. He'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Sanders here as they run out of the gun, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Back to throw here. Eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. The kick by Elliott is good. And that now makes this a 15-7 game. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board.
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Heineke now in the Washington offense. Down by eight, 225 remaining. On first and 10, Heineke. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play. Move on. Well, following the play here, now we've got an injury. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To throw is Heineke. Pass complete. Finds Thomas going across the middle. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And Dotson, he's got it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And the Washington offense stringing together a couple of good pickups. It's another first down. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. And that is incomplete here. Limited time left on the clock. to throw that's going to be caught by Samuel and Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game he'll look to throw and returns it right back to Samuel and brought down but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7 now another timeout called for by the offense That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. throw he'll go underneath with this one to McKissick and now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop He's back to throw. And he wisely will throw. So 
Fly Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first.